Hi, today Kelly Cunningham and myself Emily Backlund will be showing you how to make homemade soap. Just to give you a little bit of background about soap, uh, it's been around for thousands of years and dates back to as far as 2800 BC. So soaps to then and today are used to clean things such as dishes in your sink or of your body. So soaps have the ability to allow things that will not dissolve in water to remove from a surface and rinse away. The reasons why soaps are an effective way to clean substances that aren't water loving is due to the shape of the soap molecule itself. The structure of soap is called micelle. It is around like a ball. In a micelle, the water loving or hydrophilic outside of the soap to be attracted to the water like the interior of the soap structure is hydrophobic or lipophilic, meaning fat loving and allows substances that do not like water to be hidden inside. Yeah. The definition of a soap is a salt of a fatty acid. A salt is created from the neutralization of an acid, a substance that produces hydronium ions in an aqueous solution, and a base, a substance that makes hydroxide ions in an aqueous solution. In the case of soap, it would be the neutralization of a fatty acid. The fatty acid used in soap making is a triglyceride, where three fatty acid molecules are attached to a glycerol backbone. A fatty acid is a carbolic acid, COOH, with a long tail made from carbons. If no double bonds are present in the fatty acid tail, it is known as a saturated fatty acid, which means that it's solid at room temperatures like, uh, like the Crisco that we use today. With double bonds, it will be a an unsaturated fat meaning that it will be liquid at room temperature like the canola oil used. Soap bonification is a process used to make soap. Three main ingredients are required is water, fats or oils, and lye. This is the structure of lye, sodium hydroxide. It is the base that is used to naturalize the fatty acids, which are the oils and the fats, that cause, them, and it will cause the fats to harden. It is dissolved in warm water before the heated fats and oils are mixed with it. Once the mixtures have been added together, they must be stirred. At this point, any fragrance can be added. So this is the glycerol backbone, and these are the three long-chain fatty acids. The mechanism for making soap is... Okay, is we're going to take the, the triglyceride, and we're going to, for every long-chain fatty acid, there needs to be that much of the line, so three. And then this, when they're mixed together, this is called soap, soap bonification. This is, is going to separate the glycerol backbone from the long chain fatty acids. And the sodium is going to go with the long chain fatty acids, producing three fatty acid salts, which is what we know as salt. To make soap, you need eight ounces of solid fat. So we're using Crisco, eight ounces of liquid oil and you need about 60 grams of lye, which is sodium hydroxide. You will also need five ounces of distilled water. We're gonna start off with 150 milliliters of distilled water. It's 50 milliliters. We're going to heat the lye and the water on top of a heating plate, and it's going to be stirred by a magnetic mixer. And we only need 225 um, grams of Crisco, so that's about half of this. So now we need 240 milliliters of oil. Two hundred and forty milliliters. Okay, we're going to melt the Crisco in with the other liquid oil. Okay, stirring it. After stirring, the oil, the fat has become liquid, and once these cool down a little bit, we can now mix the lye and the water mixture together, and then we'll mix them together until a trace forms. We're now going to mix the dissolved lye and the water in with the oils and the fat.
Now we're going to stir it until it gets a little bit thick like a thin pudding. We are still stirring, 10 minutes later. <laughs> now that the mixture is mixed well, we can pour it into the plate here and we can leave it to harden overnight. 